Hello and welcome to your Vedic Lunar Scope for the 16th of May 2015 and welcome to my new office uh, which you uh, hopefully over the uh, coming days and weeks will see undergo a tremendous uh, evolution but uh, it's 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 a place to develop at the moment and a little more breathing room for me, which is uh, absolutely perfect. So let's talk about the lunar energy for the day, because after all, that's why we're here. Not so that I can take you on a tour of my office, but hey, just thought I'd try to make you feel at home. And the process, the moon today is in the early stages of Taurus, where the moon is actually in a state that's called Mula Tricona, which is very good for the moon. But because it's in the early stages of Taurus, the moon is a little bit weak and it's also approaching a new moon, which further weakens uh, the moon to an even deeper level. And the moon is in the nakshatra or lunar mansion of Ashwini today. Now, there are seemingly fewer things that are more frustrating than being in a holding pattern when you'd really like to see some movement. And when we're feeling like things are not flowing as um, abundantly as we might like for them to, then many times we tend to amp things up a notch. And when amping things up a notch doesn't, in, doesn't attain the desired result that we're looking for, well, then we become even more frustrated. But frustration is not going to serve anyone, and least of all you. And this this particular situation. So, you know, the thing that I would offer in relation to the day, and I know that this has been an energy that's been ongoing for several days, the reason being is we've also got an opposition going on between Mars and Saturn. Mars wanting the action and Saturn putting the brakes on a little bit. And so it's, it's kind of creating the energy of a holding pattern. And with the moon in Ashwini, there's like energetic activity. You feel actually energetically very active, but perhaps ineffective. And your mind is moving in a lot of different directions, but not really seeing how those things can be put into motion. So the best thing to do with the energy today is, well, to try not to get frustrated and recognize that all those stillness can be somewhat um, can feel somewhat frustrating that many times the emotions are clouding your uh, vision of reality or your ability to see that you actually have a good situation going on. You have a period of time where you can make some adjustments, where you can tweak a few things um, here and there. And the very same chaotic energy that you're feeling is also the impetus which will eventually guide you in the appropriate direction. The uh, lunar titi today is Krishna Chaturdashi. It's the 14th day of the dark half of the moon. And that's going to create some feelings of emptiness and like you're really wanting to just kind of cut through all the you know what, right? Um, but by the same token, you can cut through all the you know what. You can cut through all the obstructions and all the internal interference that's creating the problem. The solar lunar yoga for today is sabagya, which means fortunate, but because of certain factors tied in with that, well, you're not really feeling quite as fortunate. But luck is turning in your direction, and the tide is also turning in your direction. You just have to be a little more patient. Now, obviously, I don't know which area of your life this might be impacting, as I don't know your personal astrology unless I've looked at your birth chart. And if you have a perplexing situation going on, or if you just like a little bit of extra guidance, or would like to know how the energies are impacting you, then I do offer a vast range of astrological services, which are available through the link further down in this YouTube video. If you've closed that link already, there is also a link further down in the description area. There are person-to-person -person consultations available uh, using this very tool that I'm talking to you through. There are also personalized video reports, um, and the personalized video reports are recorded more like a monologue, and there are also written reports available, all dependent on how you best integrate information. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube page yet, please consider doing so so that you can receive regular updates every time a new video is released, and you can look for a new moon video coming soon. That's going to do it for your Vedic Lunar Scope for today, the 16th of May, 2015. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.